Let's have a session on ratio analysis. This is for GCSE business. So ratio analysis, you'll use the income statement to calculate these ratios, and those ratios are gross profit margin, GPM, and net profit margin, NPM. We're going to deal firstly with gross profit margin. So the formula for gross profit margin is gross profit divided by revenue times by 100 because it's expressed as a percentage. Now, if we use the income statement over here to try and find this information, we see gross profit is there. Gross profit, in this case for Seshats 2023, is 150,000 pounds, 150,000 pounds. And we therefore will divide by sales revenue, that's 200,000 pounds. And we need to times it by 100. So 150,000 pounds for gross profit divided by 200,000 pounds times by 100 comes to 75%. One thing to note is that sales revenue and revenue is the same thing. So 75% for your GPM, for your gross profit margin, what that means? Well, that means for every one pound of sales, 75 pence is gross profit. Now let's look at analysis points. So the first thing is the higher your gross profit margin, the better. You want to be as high as possible. Number two is that it only accounts for direct costs because gross profit margin is positioned here in the middle of the income statement, it's not accounting for indirect costs or operating expenses. Okay, so only accounting for those direct costs, so therefore it's just a measure of productive efficiency, so how efficiently you produce. Number three is going to be useful for those stakeholders being management, so helps inform management in their decision making. It might be that they look at the gross profit margin from previous years and see if it's improving or worsening, or they look at it against their rivals to see where they are in terms of the industry. Are they average for the industry, above average, below average? Number four is that your gross profit margin is always going to be higher than your net profit margin. The reason why is because when you're calculating your net profit margin, you're going to have to deduct your operating expenses. Now let's look at net profit margin. Now let's look at net profit margin. So net profit margin, the formula is as so. Net profit divided by revenue, the same thing as sales revenue, times by 100 because it's expressed as a percentage. Now let's use that same income statement that's here, 2023 sesh hats. So net profit, 50, we'll find it there, 50,000 pounds. Sales revenue, 200,000 pounds. So 50,000 pounds divided by 200,000 pounds times by 100 comes to 25%. And that 25% for the NPM, the net profit margin, means that for every one pound of sale, 25 pence is net profit. Analysis tips. Number one is that you want your net profit margin to be as high as possible. The higher, the better. Number two is it accounts for both direct, so that's cost of sales, and indirect, that's operating expenses. So direct and indirect costs are included in the net profit margin number. And that means that it's a good reflection of the conversion of sales into profit as you strip away all those indirect and direct costs. Number three is that it helps inform management in decision making, that could be to previous years, or to rivals within the industry you operate within. And number four is it's likely to be always higher than the gross profit margin, simply because it's further down the income statement. I hope that helps, and I'll see you at the next sesh.